Well, hello, everybody. We are Montana Acting Studio and Casting. Jared Broxman. And Cami Mon. <laughs> you were going to introduce me, too. I don't. Just go. Oh, I'll just okay. do my ad living. Just go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Montana Acting Studio and Casting. Jer Broxman and Cami Mon. And we are doing memorization techniques. This is season one, episode two. Damn hey, hey, we're really excited. You know, if you are having a hard time memorizing things, this might not be the career for you to have because that's one thing that you have to do you mm -hmm. have to be able to memorize and you know there's lots of different techniques we're gonna we're gonna show you some of our favorite ones um, but there's a lot of different techniques out there so one of the things that you do have to do to be able to memorize anything is to eliminate distractions mm -hmm. you cannot be having the tv on you can't be having people talking to you lots of different things you have to really really really, really focus and just eliminate any distractions that are around you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one thing that you can do is you can learn a general and then get down to the more specific. Read through it a few times and just find out where it's taking place, who you are and who you are in the scene with, mm -hmm. what your relationship is with them. What you want, what is your intention in the scene? A lot of times the intention will change. You know, you walk into a room and you're looking for your keys and then somebody comes in and, and you know, somebody got hurt. And so then your intention is to, you know, go out and help them. So it changes. And then also find out what happened right before the scene started. So if you get those kinds of things in your head, it gives you a really good foundation to build on. Reading things out loud. When you're reading them, you can read them with a specific thing that you're looking for. You read it multiple times. One time you're looking for what characters there are, what your character is doing. Then you look for where it's set. Then you look for what the intentions are. And so you build that mm -hmm. and the emotions that are in it. Your mouth has a lot of muscle memory and what has helped me is reading your lines not acting them just reading them mm -hmm. over and over and over and over and over and over to the point to where you can't get them out of your head yeah yeah uh, but that does take time in a pinch <laughs> know the line beforehand in the scene and then just sit there and write it out and just read it over and over and over and just and if you can cheat it Sometimes I, I've had stuff off off camera, but to where I can just look at it as reference naturally. Mm -hmm. So that way I, I didn't mess up my line. And that way we didn't have to cut and redo the scene over and over and mm -hmm. over just to mm -hmm. speed up the process. Yeah. I have this picture and it has a little X right there. What I want you to do is just stare right at that X. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Okay. So ready and go. Concentrate on that X. Don't let your eyes wander around. Keep focusing, even if your eyes feel like they're getting blurry. All right, so now look at just the white. What do you see? Do you see the American flag, red, white, and blue. Well, if you were holding your eyes still enough, what you were doing is you were actually tiring out the photoreceptors in your eyes. Actually, the cones, they get oversaturated and then they get tired, and so they don't see the color that you, you were just looking at and the opposite, the, the colors that are on the opposite side of the color wheel, that's what you see. When I'm doing my memorization, holding it up and to the right. So if you're standing up, you can hold your script to where you have to look up and to the right. Or if you've got it on the, on the table, you put it up in the right hand corner to where you have to look up and to the right. What that does is it actually logs it into your long-term memory, okay? 
and it really does make it to where it's easier to recall it later on. Now, with kind of the same idea as, as burning this into your eyes, it's kind of what you were doing, is I like to burn my sides into my mind's eye. And so I will look very, very carefully at each of the paragraphs to where it burns the image of that paragraph into my mind's eye. I have been able to memorize a 45 minute monologue. It was like 10 pages of typed script and I was able to, to remember it for years. <laughs> and when I would be performing it, I would actually be seeing those paragraphs in my mind. Mm -hmm. See, I'm, I'm the same way. Like I see the words in my head. Yeah. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter how much, Actually, the, the more that I learn it, it gets to the point where I don't even have to, I don't even see the words anymore. It's just, it's muscle memory from then on. Yeah, yeah. And even just seeing the shape of the paragraph in your mind, yeah. you know where it is. I mean, I will have a page and I will know where on the page that paragraph is. I'm, I'm able to visualize mm -hmm. that in my mind. And so that really helps too. The way that I memorize is by repetition and muscle memory. Mm -hmm. I can actually f remember... Uh, and memorize and be able to perform fast songs. If it's hip hop or rap or just fast talking, I slow it down to where I learn the muscle memory and the mm -hmm. way that your tongue mm -hmm. is positioned and everything mm -hmm. to where you can say it as slow or as fast as you can. Yeah. And it just flows. Yeah. So try that technique. That worked for me. And it, it really does help. Yeah. And it's also cool if you can learn a really cool rap song and then take it out to karaoke and yeah, yeah. he also does johnny what is it johnny cash i've yeah. been i've been everywhere yeah johnny cash oh my i've goodness. been everywhere yeah that's did you know most of the time i don't say half the words i just make it sound like i sound like what i'm saying i can't i yeah, can't cannot get away i can't recite that. it to you right now i could not sing it verbatim without lyrics in front of me you can't get away with that when you're on when you're on fake it till you make it yeah yeah <laughs> know the scene and also, not only know your lines, but you need to know the gist of the whole scene. You need to know what the other people are saying. So, okay, say that you're in a scene and the person who is supposed to give you your cue, which is it, it, it lets you know when you're supposed to talk, they don't say the word that you are that they're supposed to say mm -hmm. right before you're yeah. supposed to talk. That happens all the time. Yep. So you have to know the gist of what the meaning and mm -hmm. where the dialogue is going so you can know what you're supposed to say. Mm -hmm. And so that's where ad libbing comes in a little yeah. bit sometimes. You know, sometimes they might have you, lost their lines. You have to be careful though and just just know the production, the writer, the director, the producer. Some uh sets they want you to say what's on here verbatim. Mm -hmm. Every single word, the as way that they written. wrote it, yeah, as it's yeah, written. Yeah, you yeah. can't change a word up. They mm -hmm. won't, you know, so it's as long as I, th I feel memorization is is much easier when the writer uh, and or the director is very, um, you know, they, they trust your, your craft. They trust that you, as an artist, that you can hit all the main points that they want you to hit in that scene. Uh, and if it's some stuff's ad-libbed, it's more natural as a performer, as an actor, you want to, a little bit of you is in that character. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. if it's, if it's not something that you don't think the character would say so much, it can be challenging. Yeah. That's when it comes down to memor memorizing the lines to where you don't even have to worry about them. Well, and it's, it's can be so frustrating being in a scene with somebody who notoriously goes off script. Off script or they, they don't memorize it. And here's the thing when it comes to, when you're hired to do a job, you're hired to do whatever it is that they hired you to do, mm -hmm. whether it's one scene, an entire movie, a uh, commercial, whatever, anything with lines, your one job is to show up and know your lines mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and deliver. That's it. Yeah. That's literally your only job yeah. as an actor. And if you can't come to set and have your stuff memorized your creativity is going to be dull or non-existent. Yeah, we all can tell if, oh, yeah. you, if and you're you're gonna be you're gonna be blinking a lot. There's gonna be a lot of gives that you don't have your lines memorized, and you get one shot 
And if you take, if you mess up that one shot, if you don't come 100% prepared and ready, you you won't get another job. It is a very close knit community and we all talk and that, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. You were hired well, to do a job you didn't deliver. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like any other job. If you if you're hired to do the job and you and you slack and you don't you know you don't do what you're supposed to do, yeah. you know they're not going to be recommending you for the next one. And most of the time, they do give you enough time to memorize a script. Mm-hmm. Um, auditions, uh, you got to just be on your feet, uh, like with the cold reading and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, if you can get down a method of memorization, take the ones that we uh, that we set in, in front of you. Um, look up your own. Uh, but that's the ones that work for us. Yep. It's time and time. How many plays have you been in over the years? <laughs> a lot of them. A lot. A lot of them. So if you're a th- if you are mainly theater or you're doing nothing but theater, you got an up. It is a very, very good background to have theater background because it it helps you with learning how to memorize. It it helps you in so mm-hmm. many different ways. And and really to be a good film actor, having theater under your belt is is imperative. Oh yeah. You know, so Absolutely. if if you haven't done any theater, go out and do some theater. Yeah. Any kind of experience is, yeah. is good to, to learn your craft. I've been doing this for over 10 mm-hmm, years, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm just now locking in memorization techniques that work for me every time. Yeah. Uh, not one that works one time and another one that works another, but ones that actually work. Yeah. And it's uh, rumor is uh, Robert De Niro, he does, he, he reads his lines at least 200 times over yeah. and over and over. Yeah. So that way yeah. it just comes out naturally. Yeah. Once you have it memorized, that's when the creativity comes out. That's when the the, the reactions mm-hmm, happen. Mm-hmm. You're not worried about oh, what's my next line. Is she wait? She didn't say she didn't say the right line. Wait, <laughs> is it her or me? Do I yeah, go? I yeah. don't know where to go. And yeah, then you and then yeah. it, cut. All right, yeah. you know. And then they, well, and something also to be able to to be able to remember your lines, not in the memorization, you already needed to have done the work to do that. Mm -hmm. But then when you're in a scene or if you're waiting to go on or, you know, don't let so many different distractions get in your head. Okay. Make sure that you're, you know, if somebody's over here jabbering, just say, can I, can I chat with you? If, you know, when we're done with the scene, you know, because you have to be able to set your boundaries and not let people, other people or other things distract you from what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. so, like you said, you, when you are prepared, when you have taken the time to memorize your lines and it takes time, then when you get there, you're not, you're not thinking all over the place oh, blah, 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 and, and totally losing what you already had. Mm-hmm. Also, you're able to take more instruction when when the director can see that oh okay they did this then they might actually add something to you Mm -hmm. because you've got the you've got the script you know you've got that down so now they can say okay well let's let's tweak this and and they can improve your performance what i've noticed is once you get a technique down Mm -hmm. and it works for you i can't tell you how many times where they've added lines they've removed lines they've changed lines Right before you're about to do them on set. They're like, hey, we didn't like that. We want to do this instead. Mm -hmm. So now you're like, everything that you've memorized, right? You're like, oh. oh, oh." Once you get the technique down of memorization, your brain is almost, it's easier for it to memorize. So when it comes down to those uh, last minute memorizations, Mm -hmm. you got to have that that technique down pat to where your body knows it. And it goes, okay, I can bring and dump this line or this section and we're going to replace it with this mm-hmm. and that's key because on the fly you got to be able to memorize things yeah. <laughs> you know something else that you can do so say that you have a there's a paragraph that has multiple items in there that you have to remember and uh, you need to have them in the right order or you just need to remember all of them mm-hmm. one thing that i do is i will think i'll, I'll pick one word out of each thought out of each sentence that I'm trying to remember. And I will see if they're alphabetical. I will see if they, you know, have some kind of relation to each other. You know, if there's some rhyme to them, you know, just find some kind of relationship that those items have to each other that you can, that it can help you remember them better. Absolutely. 
you know, whether you like to sing, whether you're a good musician, singer or not, one exercise that can really help improve your memorization is learning songs. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and use the different techniques that we did. And it, like I'll be commuting and I will take a song that I want to hear. I want to learn mm -hmm. and I'll just have it in my earphones. And so listening to it too, whether you record yourself saying it and then, and then listen to it over and over and over, or just exercising the memorization techniques, yeah. whether it's something that you're going to be using on film or not memorize as many things as you can yeah uh, and, and in a pinch i've been in many situations to where i needed to i needed to memorize my lines uh, but it also i also needed somebody to read for me and to help me memorize mm -hmm. my lines mm -hmm. what i actually do i'm pretty sure everyone has a smartphone that has a voice recorder on it mm -hmm. literally go through the section the pages the scenes or whatever you're trying to memorize and you read uh the other part right so the part that i'm trying to memorize I'm reading the other person's part on my voice recorder mm -hmm. and I will do the line and then I'll read my line in my head. So it's quiet. So it gives me that, that space for me to actually deliver my lines and I'll actually record the entire scene of the other person with my voice on my phone. And then I'll, if I'm driving, I'll push playback and I will literally go through that scene and yeah. have a conversation with myself, but yet still learning my lines. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can you can have a lot of lines and within a short commute be able to go through all of them. You got a lot multiple of, times. You got a lot of time in your car. Yeah. Um, of course, don't be distracted. Be very safe when you're driving. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's hands free. Make sure you're paying attention to the road. Mm -hmm. But we all listen to music, podcasts, the the news, the radio, whatever it is. If you can just be driving and you can just be doing your lines like you're having a conversation with somebody in the car, uh, then do that. Yeah. Whatever it helps you. There's no wrong way. There's no right way. Well, Just don't, well, be, don't be reading your your sides in the car. Yeah. Make sure <laughs> you have the them way. down pat yeah. to where you're, yeah. you're working on the memorization. Yeah. That's your job. That's your job. Mm -hmm. That's that's literally your one job is to memorize lines and deliver. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but thanks for watching uh, Montagna Studio and Casting Season 1, Episode 2, Memorization Techniques. Episode 3 cold reads. Yeah. See you in the next video. See ya. Cut. <laughs>